Hey dudes, it's the Killer Nacho again, and I have a, another random battle here, and uh, this is uh, against Kyogre20, also from the stream. Um, I am posting a little bit out of order here, because I do have a lot of uh, random battles I notice on the end of this list, and I don't want to post too many random battles in a row. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post some of these so I can at least uh, change up the tiering. So if you were, if you know you before Kyogre20, and uh, sorry, Kyogre20, not 2, um... And, uh, yeah, don't worry, your battle is going to be posted, don't worry about that, it's just uh, going to be a little bit out of order, so, so I don't, uh, you know, so I can uh, change up the uh, Pokemon tiering a bit. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, get started on this battle. As I previously mentioned, this is a random match, meaning all of our teams are randomized, similar to, um, you know, roulettes in, uh, you know, actual Wi-Fi battles. Anyway, I make a huge mistake here right off the bat, I uh, don't know what I was thinking, Maybe I was distracted, I don't know. I didn't notice the uh, Purple Pass's balloon, so derp, de derp, derp, derp. I went for an earthquake, and yeah, obviously it doesn't do anything. So, now I just switch out into my Hitmontop, because my Hitmontop is a fighting type, and obviously, close combat is going to uh, kill Purple Pass if he stays in. He ends up staying in, which, <clears throat> not really sure why, because obviously the fighting move was coming, but uh, yeah, I end up taking down Purple Pass, and I don't mind that at all, so uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Although he did set up Stealth Rock, so I guess the Purple Pass did its job. And now he's going to go out into Crobat, which I obviously do not want to stay in for because it's going to use Brave Bird or something else that uh, him on top does not like. So I go out of Re uh, Registeel because I don't really think Crobat carries anything other than Super Fang that can really uh, annoy Registeel. And even then, Super Fang is going to take a while to KO if he wants to do that route. And uh, yeah, so I do predict a switch, but I just decide to... Uh, what do I do? Don't actually remember. Let's find out. Okay, so he U-turns, and uh, he decides to go out into uh, a Spinda, I think? Is that this part of the battle? Uh, yeah, no, a Garchomp. I lied. Okay, see? I don't remember. Whatever. I set up my own Stealth Rocks. That's what I do with this turn, and obviously I'm going to switch here because I do not want to take an Earthquake to the face, and I kind of expect this to be a Mega Garchomp, uh, because that's all I've seen so far in random as far as Garchomp goes. So, yeah, I go out to my Superior, and uh, I do that just because I, I he's obviously going to use Earthquake. So, uh, yeah. He does, let's find out, and uh, this is a Contrary Superior, as I recall, and uh, Contrary is an ability that makes all, um, what, what, anytime, uh, pretty much all stat boosts are going to be negative, or uh, reversed, so if you lose one attack normally, uh, the move would instead let you gain one attack, etc. And he does have Leaf Storm, obviously, to abuse with it, but I just go for a Leech Seed, not knowing what he has in his team. In random mode, you do not have team preview, so I don't know, maybe he has something that, like, X4 resists. Like, well, actually, I did know he had something X4 resists Leaf Storm. That's, a uh, Crobat. Regardless, I do set up the Stealth Rocks, or, sorry, not Stealth Rocks, the, um, Leech Sheet, at least. And I go back in my Registeel, figuring, uh, he switched last time, I'm pretty sure he's gonna switch again, because this Crobat has nothing to hurt me. Not to mention that he has Leech Sheet, so he really does not want to stay in and give my Registeel free healing. So yeah, I decided to go for a Toxic, which is something this thing carries, because I'm pretty sure it's going to just U-turn or switch out, and uh, it does. So here he goes out in a Spinda, and then I go Toxic. So there you go. See, I, I knew this happened, I just didn't remember the order, apparently. So yeah, now I go for the Toxic, and that will uh, poison the Spinda, which is also Contrary. Uh, obviously, because Contrary is the, the best ability Spinda can have, and... It's just pretty obvious. Anyway, so now I decide to switch out, and I go out into um, Superior again. So, Contrary versus Contrary guy. He ends up going for a um, Super Power, which, of course, with his Contrary, is going to actually raise his attack and defense. So, it's like a real Super Power attack, unlike, you know, those fake Super Powers everyone else uses. Um, but, yeah, that's a pretty good move, obviously, on a Contrary Pokemon. And I just want to go for a Leaf Storm, and I don't quite kill, sadly, even though I do get the special attack boost uh, sharply rising my... Uh, the sharply rise risen. Is that the way you say it? Sharply risen special attack. Although now he's just going to fish you off the double edge, although uh, I think that the recoil does kill him, and even if it didn't, obviously the toxic would. So, we lose both of our contrary Pokemon, and I just go out into Scizor, which he hasn't seen yet. And this is a Mega Scizor, and um, yeah, I decide to Mega Evolve and go for a uh, Super Power against this uh, Trash Form something. I forget what that thing's called. But anyway, yeah, uh, Trash Form. Burmy Dam or something? I don't know. I, um, but next time it comes back in, I'll, I'll see what his name is, because I don't remember. It, you know, it's the thing that you can actually get trash for him, so there. Anyway, so I just go for a superpower, and uh, my superpower isn't quite as good, because I end up losing my attack and defense. And, uh, yeah. So, Scizor, you're not of the superpower, and I try to finish off the Crobat, even with a reduced attack, and I don't, and he does have the... he does carry Roost on this Crobat. 
randomly, literally, and, uh, yeah, so now I do have to switch because I know this Crowback can pretty much stall me out, uh, especially with my reduced attack, so I go back out into, uh, Registeel, which I'm 100% sure now, I'm, well, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 99% sure this Crowback is not carrying Super Fang, so I, this Registeel really has nothing to fear at all from Crowbat, so... Yeah, that's all that and all that good stuff. So he's obviously going to switch again because he does not want to stay in. He goes for a U-turn, and this time it goes into uh, Landorus, the uh, Terran form. Or Theron form, you know, the alternate form. Oh no, never mind, he goes into Rotom Trash, I lied. Or not Rotom Trash, up. Uh... See, I was right, Burmadam Trash. Cool, good enough. So yeah, I'm obviously not remembering this battle 100%, but whatever. I thought he went into Landris, but which is the last Pokemon, and I just I just spoiled it, guys. Damn it. Oh well, I have Seismic Toss, which does a guaranteed, I guess in this case, 82 damage, because it's a move that uh, deals damage equal to the user's HP, and um, in random battles you don't have a level 100s. So normally we do 100 damage in uh, competitive matches. In random matches, um, the level is scaled to the overall power of the Pokemon to make it a little bit more fair. But uh, regardless, eventually I will kill this stupid Burmadam with my uh, Seismic Tosses. And uh, yeah, I think that is this turn. The uh, Yeah, okay, it goes down, so that's pretty cool. So now he goes into Landorus, I think, to try to go scare me away with the Earthquake. Right? Yeah, maybe? Instead of just going into Guard Time? Yes, he goes into Landorus. Okay. And I decided just to go for the Toxic because I don't really have a lot left in my team to counter this Landorus. I just want to make sure it's not going to end up being a major problem for me. Getting a Toxic off means it, it will limit its sweeping potential severely. And uh, once it gets low enough, I will be able to go and kill it with Bullet Punch with my Scizor. But uh, yeah, I end up doing quite a lot with Earthquake. Doesn't kill because of Registeel being just Beast. And uh, yeah, now I just go out and do my Cofagragus because it is the walliest thing I have on my team. And I figure it can take an Earthquake moderately well. Ends up taking 30% from that, not too shabby, but I actually kind of, I kind of hoped uh, it was, would take it better, but it doesn't. Anyway, this is a Trick Room Cofagrigus set, so I just go for a Trick Room. He's going to get off another Earthquake, which makes Cofagrigus uh, kind of weak here. But now that I'm faster due to Trick Room, I should be able to get some Shadow Balls off and hopefully killed in one more hit. I'm not really sure how much damage it will do, and um, yeah, because it's a more of a defensive set, I think it uh, does not do much damage at all. That's about 30% or so, and uh, yeah, he's going to hit me with another Earthquake, which almost kills me. But I figure, okay, I should be able to kill now after his Toxic Poison with another Shadow Ball. So I just go for that and take out the Landorus, so there you go. Now, uh, that leads me to another nifty trick this Cofagrigus has, which is um, Pain Split. So whatever he goes into, I should be able to heal Cofagrigus by a good chunk, and uh, hopefully survive another hit or two. So uh, yeah, he ends up going back into Garchomp, Mega Garchomp, to be exact, which has a ton of attack. And I just hope I can pain split and get enough HP to survive whatever he wants to do. It ends up going, I think, for another Earthquake, and I do survive. Cofagrius is an awesome wall. I remember using it quite a lot in Gen 5. He's one of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon, just from a design perspective, but he's also pretty cool. And I just go for a Shadow Ball, trying to deal as much damage I, as I can before I die. He ends up critting me, but it doesn't matter. It would have killed me anyway. So, uh, yeah, that is a dead Cofagrius, but now I can just go into Scizor, and I just hope to God that Mega Scizor, you know, I also, I know how awesome Scizor is normally. Come on, Mega Scizor, can you please finish off this Garchomp with Bullet Punch? Please. Of course not. Of course not. Mega Scizor, you have disappointed me, sir. I, I, I came expecting, like, some kind of champ, and instead I get this. Not even able to finish off a weakened Garchomp, whatever. The Garchomp is now defeated, and his last Pokemon is Crobat which uh, will come in and take the 25% damage, and I'm just hoping, I guess, just hoping that I, I can finish it off uh, with a bullet punch here, but I don't, and he's going to get off a Roost, which is kind of annoying because I I'm worried that he can just stall me now with Roost. Oh, sorry, he doesn't get off a Roost here. He goes for a Brave Bird to kill my Scissor. Okay, that's probably the wise thing to do anyway, but now I go out and do Registeel, and he will Roost, obviously outspeeding me. I'm just hoping that eventually I can kill him with a Seismic Toss, I figure that he, his best attack against me is Brave Bird, which has Recoil. I know that I can't deal enough with Seismic Toss to make up for the Roosts. Uh, no, sorry, I'm going for their Iron Head. Damn, I'm making all sorts of memorization mistakes here. Whatever, I go for the Iron Head, which actually does more damage, I think, anyway. So there you go. So yeah, now he goes Brave Bird, and uh, I don't even know why he went Brave Bird there. Uh, he probably could have stalled me a little bit longer with the Roost. I guess he figured that he was going to lose anyway, um, and just goes for the Brave Bird to end it. But, um, yeah, that was a good game, Kyogre 20. Thank you for uh, battling, and uh, another fun random match here. Anyway, let's uh, think of a nice question of the day for you, and uh, my ah, today's question of the day, let's go with something non-Pokemon related. 
what is your Poke favorite video game in general? In fact, what is your favorite non-Pokemon video game? I asked a previous question of the day, what is your favorite Pokemon video game? But now I will uh, reverse that and say, what is your favorite Poke uh, any non-Pokemon game? As for me, it's Chrono Trigger still, uh, hands down. It's still one of my favorites uh, since I was a child. It was one of my favorite games, and uh, I will continue forever going with Chrono Trigger. Anyway, thanks for the battle, uh, Kyogre20, and um, thanks for uh, watching. And if you uh, like what you see, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Later.